Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. So, uh, past couple episodes, we got turned into Link, and now we're just trying to figure out kind of what to do and what's going on. So I'm pretty sure the next step for us right now is to go into Termina. And, uh, the place is taken over by the poor army. Lynx, how dare you? You have the nerve to return to this town. Get out of here. Looks like the young'uns and wanted guests, whatever. Humans are very selfish. Okay, they're always searching for something or to lay their blame on. So yeah, um, apparently this is my fault. Apparently, and let's go ahead and save while we're here. Oopsies, wrong memory card. Okay, let's do that again. Put it on the right, no? Put it on the second one. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what... I don't know, let's see what's going on. Um, left or right? I guess let's check out both of the bars and stuff. See what's going on. Can we still buy elements? Hello? Welcome. We're pretty low on stock right now, but please look around. Okay, so she doesn't have much stuff. According to her. Oh, okay, she has plenty of stuff. Uh, got one of those. One of those. We have too much money, honestly. Like, legitimately, we have too much money. Um, ooh, don't want to spend that much money. Let's buy, like, five of those. Like, two of those. Um, just do that. And then for these, you know what? Just buy as many as we can. There we go. Why not? We have plenty of money. Let's get out of here. And let's go check out the bar. Let's see what's going on. Okay, there's just poor soldiers. Okay. Hello. You, weren't you the guy at Sir? Get yourself out of here. Our beautiful term has been turned into a mess because of you. We don't serve your kind here. Well, that's just racist. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I think this way is blocked. Right? Can it be you, Sir Lynx? You are safe, sir. Where have you been all this time? We have set up a temporary military block beyond this point. Nobody can pass without permission from the Commander Norris. Not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Oh, okay. So that is our next place. Arg, it's such a pity the statue of Master Viper that has been polished. Everybody has been changed to this. Once Magnificent Manor gone, none of this would happen. So, um, apparently, Viper is gone. And. What are, you, what are you saying? Viper's gone and manners the, the manners destroyed. Sir Lynx, so I said there's nothing here in this old shack, but would you like some tea or something? Get out, you big straight cat. I don't like you. Father's the one who's always saying it. Is this guy? If this guy never came, we wouldn't be in this mess. No, Sister Lynx. Uh, well, you see, it's just kids talk. There's a straight cat that steals our fish around here, so, uh, Yeah, sure. Come on, apologize, too. Hee <laughs> hee, we're real sorry. Alright, buddy. I'll let you escape with your life this one time. I wonder what happened to that one grandma. Whose son is a skeleton now, apparently. I wonder what happened to them. What's up? Oh, my poor skelly. Prey. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's nothing's changed with her. So let's go check out what's going on on the right side of the game. And then once we figure out if there's not anything special there we'll head over to the destroyed viper manor real quickly though i also do want to check the blacksmith uh they have some mithril armor or they should have mithril armor let's go check it out maybe we can make oh Aye, that should do it. This year Forge has always had a fire since olden times. Tap to see it without a blaze. My apologies. Closing this shop for my own selfish desires. 
I've had to listen to you for the longest time and don't want to hear you say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So you're really going? I, uh, it's finished to here and wait for Karsh's return. It's already been three years. These viewers haven't been good to us. Our best patrons, the dragoons, disappear. Uh, oh, okay. So they're saying Karsh is probably fine. What do we do? Uh, his name is Karsh. He's a pretty rough character, but he's a good boy. Um, okay, so they're just looking for a son, basically. Uh, yeah. So they're basically just looking for their son. Can we say anything to this guy? Radius, it's been a while. How far is the village? You need not worry about the village. There are bigger things to concern us. I'm guessing you're not from around here. Do you know a thing called the rainbow? It's a super material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for this rainbow. You mind if I join you? Yeah, why not? Alright, it's a good... Uh... Smith Spirit. Cool. So. Uh... Confirm. Cool. Uh, it's a good... I was about to not go talk to him. Oh... This guy is a lot stronger, but, wow, okay, that guy is a lot stronger, but has a few other weaknesses, call me anytime you like, okay, cool, so I was actually about to not talk to him, so it's a good thing I went and talked to him, uh, there's nothing back here to take care of, okay, cool, 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 we might switch him out, we might switch Radius out. Let's go in here. Let us see. I remember when we first came here, there was two brothers fighting. I'm guessing they're not here anymore. Okay, so nothing. We don't really need anything from these guys. The last thing we should probably check out here is over here. So if you guys remember, when we came here in the other world, right in this place was a huge mansion. And the dad here was a businessman. He was very rich, and he kept going on business trips, leaving his son. Now, in this world, it's the exact opposite. They're very, very poor. Phew. Van's father. Van's father, go. Are you Van's friend? He's over in the back room. Do, 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 do. Question. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. At least knock before you enter. What's good, fam? Are you guys tourists? If you want to be willing to guide you around, of course, there's a small fee involved. Ah, well, let's hire him. That is... Huh? You've had long enough to pay your debts, and I'm not going to wait any longer. Either you pay now, or I have will have to move you out of this house. But what will happen to my son and me? It's none of my concern. I just want to make this place into a personal storage for my precious treasures. Hey, wait. I'll pay that debt. Well, this is amusing. How is our little Mr. Van today? How much have you saved from your allowance? None of your business. This is what I got. Uh-huh. This won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Just wait a little bit more. Then I'll be able to get the money you need. What are you planning to do, little Van? Don't waste your energy on something stupid. I'm going with these guys to search for the frozen flame. So please, just wait a little. So he just, like, invited himself? Uh, you're, uh, but you're still just a kid. It's so naive of you to believe in such a fair tale like the frozen flame. He literally just did invite himself. Uh, I mean, might as well add him to the party. There's no reason not to. Amazing. I actually believe that legendary people are crazy or something. Not a bad joke, though. Frozen Flame is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures. Even if it's just a legend, there's something very tempting about it. All right. I will wait a little longer. Have the Frozen Flame ready by the time I come back here. Be careful not to burn yourself. Or you're probably never going to find it. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm, how garrant of her to just push us around just because we're poor. If only we had money. If only we had money, this would never have happened. Hey, 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 none of that. Uh, besides, even though we don't have money, we have paintings. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Uh, we're out of money because we're not selling any of the paintings we have in this room. I'm sorry, Van. These pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. I, am, I only want to sell the pieces that I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. Fine, and then I'm going to be the one to find us a place to live. Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's absolutely positively nothing here, so there's no point hanging around. Thanks. 
Thank you for going along with my bogus story. Nah, fam, dude, he's about to join us. I think it's pretty good picture, so why doesn't it sell? Dad isn't too active about selling his work. He says cocky things... He says cocky things like he'll only sell to those who understand his work. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to come up with the money myself. Okay, let's see. My piggy bank. Yep, it's here. The money's in here, too. Now the hardest part is to finding a place to live. Next we have... That's homemade paint color, El Nido Blue. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were dead, I would have sold this paint by myself and made a fortune off of it. And the seashell. Mom, the only remains the only remaining remind reminder between me and mom is this shell. I cracked, I can't even hear the sound. I, but I remember it all. Mom found the shell and held it gently to my ear, and I remember that sound, the sound of the sea. I also had a fit because I couldn't take home the sand castle I made that day. And now we have to move out of the house. Mom and I lived there, but don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Dad for you. Oh, fam, dude. Man always had a hard time dealing with our troubles ever since he was a child that made him do without made him do without so many things that he's grown a bit sarcastic. Yet he has a very kind heart like his mother always was one day. I wish I could let him do as he pleases just like other children. You guys are still here? You need some? Are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually, what you were just saying. We really are looking for the frozen flame. Ironic. You're being sarcastic, you got me pretty ticked. Oh I get it. Are you trying to cheer me up or something? Don't underestimate me because I'm a kid. I know that no such thing exists in this world. Or, you're, or are you all some kind of simpletons? Whether you believe it or not, it is up to you. Stop looking at me at that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth. Even I can see that, but I can't do it. I just can't leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand, although it's tempting. I'll be alright, Van. You don't have to find any frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go into the world and broaden your horizons. Of all the people in the world, only a handful live in happiness. No, maybe even those who look happy aren't really happy at all. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness means, so go. Just be careful to lock up at night. It'd be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will. Be careful out there. Oh yes, wait just a moment. Take this with you. This a boomerang? Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What am I going to do with this toy? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there will be danger. This should help you when it comes... When the time comes, and a boomerang comes back when it is thrown. I want it to be a reminder to you. So it's a good luck charm, huh? Hm, I don't care for such things, but oh well, I'll take it with me just in case. Alright, we gotta go before she comes back again. Alright, Van has joined the party. Now, I don't actually like Van at all. Um, another one of those people, I'm not a fan of his design, really. I honestly don't think he's even that strong so please yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah we're, we're not gonna use him no reason to uh, but I will probably put Zappa in for now though let's go and check out the right side of the town see what's going on over there and then once we get back to the home like map uh, okay, we can go through here. Then we'll do all the stuff to switch them out. For now, though, we'll be fine. Let's see if there's anything going on here. If there's anything new. Let's see who's in this building. Who are you? What brings you here, Shenka? Uh... Okay. So... Random crap about a ghost. Don't really care. Um, so... I don't think there's anything to do here, except... Let's take a look at the sword real quick before we leave. The sword is probably important. Or Radius. Uh, Radius might know about this. Garia, forgive me. Okay. So, clearly Radius had something to do with... A lot of these old dragoons, like Garia, Darius, or whatever. 
So he must know something about that. But that's completely fine. I'm going to be switching him out anyway, most likely here. For Zappa. Uh, partly just because I like Zappa a little bit better. I don't like Zappa either. I mean, you guys might be wondering at this point what characters I even do like. And that's actually... Did we go to the... Yeah, we went to the bar. I actually, I don't like many characters in this game. There's only a few handful that I actually do like. So we gotta go to the old Broken Manor, but before we do that, I do want to replace... And then put Zappa in. And he's red, right? What is Harl? Harl is black. So is Lynx. Okay. So we're gonna have two blacks and a red, but that's completely fine. Also, we did get the Smithy Spirit from... Zappa, can we... Seriously, do this anywhere we want. That's crazy. That's really good, actually. Since he's with us. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, silver, silver Swallow. So this is better. Okay. Yep, we'll get that. And then... What about armor? We got a Mithril Mail. How many of these can we make? We can only make one. Alright, well, we'll make one then. Alright, guys, we got all of his elements equipped. Alright, he should be nice and set. Alright, let's head over to Viper Manor. Before we do, of course, let's save. Okay. So we still have that save file from before. Of course, we're never going to use it, but I like to keep it just in case something happens. Go to Viper Manor. This place is, like... In rubble basically these guards say anything okay I'm too lazy to click on them let's keep going see what's up the one thing that I'm not a big fan of Zappa is his walking is real dumb radius is here I believe it has been four years since I retired from the dragoons time sure does fly I was shocked to hear of Dari Dario's death three years ago and now the general and the others are missing Manners and, and I took the uh, liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I have discovered nothing. All I know is a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved him in some kind of incident. Only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the general three years ago. I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. I know uh, I know nothing. I was not involved with the, with the plan. I did not find it amusing. Okay, so... Uh, I just hope that... Okay. So, obviously, we can't walk in there. But I do know where Norris is. He's down here. Go down. Yes, he is going to be down here, I think. At least that'd be my best guess. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. What's up? He's entered through here to get to the basement of the Viper Manor. Okay. Get to the basement of the Viper Manor. Blub, 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 blub. Um, okay, so this is gonna be another kind of like tricky kind of place. Except, are all the puzzles done for me? Doesn't look like it. Let's push that one in there. Get the. Ooh, the Mithril Helmet. That's good stuff right there. Uh, let's go over here. Equip him with the Mithril Helmet. There we go. So we got one barrel. I think we need to go get the other barrel. Oh man, I wish we could just jump. That'd make it everything so much easier. So now we need to go all the way around. This guy over here. Oh, the ladder leading to the prison is up ahead, sir. What do you mean up ahead? I'm confused. Do I just go straight over here? Oh. Okay. Never mind. I just go straight up. Fine. I'll take it. Oh, it's locked. I wanted to get in there, man. Go find Norris in there. Alright, where you at, Norris? What's good? Mr. Lynx, it's been a while, sir. 
As you can see, the manor is in shambles. There is still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than the last time I remember. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a dragoon, although I've been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former four divas. It is an honor to meet you, sir. So he, he was one of the divas. I believe you, sir, but it is still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. If it is up to you what you want to believe, sir, what business do you, do you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Blah, blah, blah. Cute cut scene. Oh, okay. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so I was sent to El Nido Archipelago as a spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it has appeared as though General Viper and his men were all in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to the I was called back to poor, but it was then I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. I heard only recently that there is good evidence that the general and his men headed to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail, we could find no entrance. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change the distorted world using the frozen flame. Oh la la, such grand dreams, Lynx. Hold your tongue. What? So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we're looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There's no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it either. Yes, I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marble know something about this, but they, but they detest humans, especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go. Then may I join you, sir? I want to know, to know if the frozen flame really exists and about everything that has happened here. What about you? Hmm. But of course, I will follow Lynx. Yep. Okay, cool. There is a military boat docked in terminal. Let us use it. Okay. Cool. Actually, um, Morris is one of the characters that I don't like, but I'm really tempted to use him because I think he looks kind of cool. So, we might do a second change of characters. All of a sudden... Just because I actually kind of like them. But cool. Now, in this world, we have a boat. Which is great. Uh, Bro, this is my boat. What do you mean? Oh, is this not my boat? Where is my boat? Oh, that's my boat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so my boat is the, the small blue one. Not the big orange one. Oopsies. So we have to go to the island of Marble. Do 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 do. So that island is right over here. Um, yeah, it's this island. Uh, hmm. I'm wondering, should we go? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe we'll check out the ship next episode. For now though, real quickly, I'm gonna switch out Zappa for Morris. Alright, Morris is all ready and set. So let's go to Marble. Marbule. So let's see what's poppin'. Uh, I think the entrance is here. Yep. So let's see what's poppin' with these people. So these are the lagoons that you saw earlier. Uh, that, uh, Whatever his name is, Skippy, Shippy, <laughs> whatever his name was, could turn into. Uh, there's no one in here, so let's keep going. Yeah. Alright, what's what's up? Yo, stop running away from me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Blah, 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 I don't really care about that guy. 
can we walk in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So there must be something up in these rooms up here. Or room. Yeah, I don't think there's rooms. There's a singular room. Let's see what's popping. Is there no one even in here? Um. Okay. So they work as laborers on the SS thing. They're treated like dirt. And that's why I have, um, okay, so, actually, that's the place that I was planning to go after this. I was hoping we could maybe talk to someone here, and then do a side quest, uh, at the SS whatever, it's, if you guys remember the pirate ship from a couple we uh, a couple episodes ago, well, that was a pirate ship, in, but it was in the other world. In this world, it is something else, it is a cruise ship. So, let's go ahead and we're going to start the mission, but we're not going to finish it because we're like at almost 30 minutes here. But instead of a pirate ship, now this is a cruise ship, which is kind of cool. Kind of. Alright, so let's go walk up here. Okay, so yeah, most of these people... They're obviously rich people. Um, let's talk to this guy. What up? Have you guys been... Yeah, I don't care. Let's go up here. Is there anyone up here? What are you doing? You're not allowed up here. Okay, so we can't go up there because... Blah, blah, blah. What do you have to say? Nothing. Cool. Alright, let's go below deck. Uh, what does this lady have to say? Okay, so the lady just can't wait to see Nikki. Which is like a singer in this game that's like very well known. I guess let's go through every room, see what's going on. So, this is dinner. I'm pretty sure this is one of Nikki's backup singers. Uh, you're a strange thief, I thought everyone was here to see Nikki. You don't look like the typical Nikki fans. Are you fans? No. You don't have to say that just to please me. Oh, honestly, I don't I don't really like Nikki. I'm Mickey, the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get the goosebumps from the message we try to convey. We're not all about the looks. I hope you understand that. Well, I hope we didn't make her mad by telling her we didn't like her opposition. Alright, let's go see another room. Kitchen, do not enter. Alright, we can't enter in there. And I'm pretty sure down here is a gambling. Yes. You wanna play for 100G? Sure, let's play one time real quick. Okay, you start off with a thousand points. Current points. Okay, so right now we have. Okay, we he actually didn't explain how the game worked. Okay, so we just click. Oh, that's bad. Death. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, didn't he? He didn't explain how to play the game, did he? All right, all right. Play what? Here we go. So let me explain the rules. Don't worry, it's real simple. I'm going to spin the pointer, so you just have to stop it whenever by pressing the X button. If the pointer stops at north, the jackpot. You double your points. And then, if you stop on the E, you get you win 50 points. If you stop on the W, you lose 50 points. If you stop on the S, uh, it's death. Right, so now we go on the S, and it's death. So, let's play, like, one more time. Yeah. Uh, sudden death rule in the Vegas casino. Alright, let's play, like, one more time. Yeah. Okay, start off with 100 points. Let's continue. I'm just gonna hit that button right away. Okay, oh, we lost 50. Okay, let's continue. Let's try again. Hit that button right away. Okay, we doubled it. We're back to 100. Let's try it again. Come on. Okay, we got to 150. 
So I'm pretty sure we have to hit a th certain threshold to actually stop. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this until I either get a prize or I lose again. Okay, that's double. Good, good. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what point value we have to get to to be able to stop. No! That sucks. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Whatever. We can't win. By the way, the next quest that's coming up is going to heavily have to do with that. But you guys will see that in the story. Pretty sure Fargus is over here, right? Hey, you're a new face. Relax to stay a while. The ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves courtesy of me. Stay as long as you like. Hey, okay. So he doesn't have any other voice lines. Let's try to get those voice lines. Okay. So we can't really do anything with him just yet. Now, let's go downstairs. I also do need a save point. That's honestly what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so we got... I'm pretty sure right here is the inn, right? Okay, we got a save point. This guy, it's an inn. Yeah. So, guys, right now we're going to be saving. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment. That is the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.